can still do nothing to your natural hair and still grow a long hair. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Now let's talk about what you can or cannot do to grow long natural hair. There is a whole lot of routine um, do's and don'ts in the natural hair community. Do this, use that and that. The big question is, do you really need to do all those things before you can actually grow long hair? In my own opinion, I think no. But the main question now is, what you can do or what you cannot do to grow your natural hair long. I believe that you can still do nothing to your natural hair and still grow a long hair. Now, that is relative for a lot of people, right? Some things are not necessary, honestly speaking. Some things that we are asked to do or don't do, they are really, really not necessary for us. So you, it's just um, getting the right spots. I call it the right spots because um, you might go through a lot of trials and errors before you actually find something that really sticks to you and you keep doing that thing and you see a positive result. So the fact that people push a lot of things to us, do this, do that, don't do this, don't do that, doesn't really necessarily mean that you have to do those things or you don't have to do those things. So in my own opinion, I feel that you can still not do some of these things and still grow your natural hair long. So regardless of how great that thing is, how exciting, how tested and proven it is, you can still choose not to do that and still grow your natural hair long. Not doing anything and growing your natural hair is relative for some people. Uh, so for a lot of us, we actually really don't do anything and our hair grows. But I'll tell you the downside of that. On the flip side, we don't do, um, we don't totally do nothing. We still do some things that really aid in keeping our hair, you know, healthy and long. I've seen some naturals who practically don't have a routine, like they really don't do much for their hair. They really don't do a lot and their hair still goes. Now, here is the big story. Um, you can choose not to do anything. Your hair will regardless grow from your scalp. But the key word here is length retention. So it's not about you just growing your hair. The key word here that we I like to focus on is length retention. So your hair might be growing out, but you're not retaining length. Now, these are for those people that are really key or really big on, you know, growing longer hair. Like maybe you want to grow your hair to waist length, you want to grow your hair to butt length and stuff like that. So you actually will not be doing nothing to grow your hair, honestly speaking. You can't do nothing. So you can do the barest minimum, but you can't totally do nothing. If length retention, like growing your long hair is actually what you're aiming for, you can't do nothing. So you can put in a protective style and just leave your hair like that. You know, you don't wear your hair out. You don't do much. Just maybe re-moisturize your hair maybe once in a week or once in two weeks so you can choose to do the barest minimum it depends on what works for you your hair will actually grow but you won't be retaining length if you are doing totally like you're doing practically nothing so there are two ways i like to see this if you're interested in growing longer hair you have to do something like even if it's just one step you have to take <laughs> I mean, just nourishing yourself from the inside, like just hydrating yourself regularly, moisturizing your hair is enough for you to retain length, is enough for you to uh, maintain a healthy hair. So that is not doing nothing. You're actually doing something. But if you really don't care about long hair, you just want to have healthy hair, you just, you know, you don't care about length, then you can actually say you can do nothing like you can just do nothing and your hair will still grow that's just the plain truth but if 
length retention if long hair is your goal like whether you want to reach shoulder length whether you want to reach mid back length whether you want to reach waist length if that is your goal then you must do something you can't afford to be lazy about that you have to do something so it's either you're moisturizing once or twice in a week or you're washing of course you have to wash your hair so i like to use those with locks for example people with locks they literally don't do much but they still do something because if their locks is not properly taken care of they grow i mean it looks very haggard right so but they do something but they don't really do much like they don't have this five step wash day routine or that we usually do as a loose naturals i just wanted to come up here and say um it's your choice it's your hair so it depends on what you actually want it, it depends on what are your goals it depends on what you're looking for so for me i want length and i want healthy hair health of course because once your hair is healthy definitely you're going to grow longer hair if you maintain it so i want to grow that kind of hair and definitely i can't be doing nothing <laughs> so my wash day routine alone is something uh, me trying to hydrate my hair every now and then is something me trying to moisturize and keep my hair sealed properly is something so i can't actually say i'm doing nothing but for those people who are not interested in length like they don't really care about length you can just sit cool hydrate yourself from the inside eat good food make sure your diet is cool and your hair will still grow but talking about length retention which is the key word in the whole natural hair community like the key word is length retention because we are trying to grow longer hair so you have to retain the length but regardless of whatever you do or don't do your hair is actually growing out from your scalp you get it this is just what i wanted to share with you guys that if you're out there and you're thinking must i really do all of these things i'm told to do do i need to do that i don't have time for this and stuff like that the question you should be asking yourself is do i really want to grow long hair or i should just let my hair be and just be the way it is if you're able to sincerely answer that question then you will know what step to take you will know if you actually need to be doing something or need to do little or don't do anything at all so i hope you guys enjoyed something for today's video till i come your way next time bye for now